property plant equipment. Uh, so, um, fixed assets will be called as property plant equipment. And uh, uh, do you all uh, remember from your studies uh, why it is called property plant equipment? Anybody here? In the last I said, what do you say? No. You start with no. What do you say? Why do we call it property plant equipment? Okay, let me let me simplify the thing. Um, but uh, are we meaning that fixed asset per se under Indian standards was not covering land? So why are we saying depreciable and not depreciable? Okay, anyway. Uh, what is it called in the Schedule 3 of uh, Duke of Act 2013? Tangible assets. Okay, so uh, what is the difference between fixed and tangible and tangible and PP? Movable assets. Okay. Assets having sorry. Physical substance. Physical substance. Those are tangible. And fixed assets are not having physical substance. Both. Book of intangible substance. And uh, uh, you said something? Fixed means fixed to earth. Yeah. So cars will not get covered. So that's why we said tangible. Now why tangible to PP? Tangible is a fine word actually. Tangible is in Schedule 3, then why call it PP? So, are we saying that for investment property to be shown separately, the tangible asset word was given a go by? Could be one reason. Any other reason? Very most, uh, I think the beginning reason was what about inventory? Inventory is also a tangible asset, and there that's where the views of the IFRS and therefore index go in divergence. And they say that if we put tangible assets, then inventory also will get covered. So now that we are talking about the tangible word was done away with, and something like property plant equipment. And inventory, two separate words. So inventory word was there, but in Schedule Three, if we put tangible asset as one word and inventory as other word, then one can, you know, easily say, okay, inventory I'm putting in tangible asset. Then what happens? Right. So that's where the beginning was there. That tangible asset word has to be given to that, and of course, invent investment property. Now, if you go one step further, there is a standard called held for sale. Now there will be some held for sale asset also to be separately shown. So again there is the issue that whether we are going to have assets like held for sale and then we have to show them because they are also tangible. Otherwise we will have to group them together. So net net what we are saying is today's tangible asset in schedule 3 can be separated between PP, investment property, held for sale. And inventory, typically. Right? So that makes brings in somewhat clarity in our mind as to now in the process, to be honest, the PP word has become a little not so indicative because when we say PP, P stands for property. Property has been defined as land plus bedding, or rather, I would say 
depreciable and non depreciable combines but there again there is a issue because if we say property i mean in past we had a problem actually it was again not indicative land and building then uh, people used to say what about dams flyovers bridges because they are not buildings per se okay or water project pipeline how do, how can you call it a building so that is also issue so then we try to say property which is depreciable and non depreciable now there the issue comes uh, uh, machinery is also non uh, depreciable property so so there is a, some looseness still remains because any term which you take uh, perhaps then we'll have to go for uh, civil construction but then civil construction is also a challengeable area in a way the two at, uh, uh, attached combines uh, finally ends up into what is called as property and then there are depreciable and non depreciable so even in uh, indes now we'll be using the words pp so property is property plant i mean so the plant is plant and equipment again so we should not think of a plant means bush or something and uh, equipment means again a uh, issue because computer uh, you know when you say equipment does computer comes in front of eyes or a car front comes in front of eyes difficult to say but well finally that compromise that in the definition of equipment put everything else sort of okay or furniture calling the furniture into the equipment is also a problem but calling that plant also is difficult okay. so factory equipment office equipment all together quality equipment and then rest of the asset push it under that well i think uh, uh, while uh, we are habitual to what is known as taking everything together in such a way uh, and originally we used to describe this with the class and i remember the uh, fixed asset with a long list of land building plant and machinery furniture fixture office equipments vehicles railway sidings all those things development of property absolutely then cwip and all that i think now the things come much shorter and push them into the pp and perhaps work it for us but yes intangible asset is clearly and solely out as you rightly said now that takes me to the uh, actually uh, a good uh, interesting part of this thing uh, whole the amount of uh, the research work which has been done so far as the pp is concerned is goes in thousands of pages as a background matter i mean and, uh, particularly one is pp and another is financial instrument and off late revenue but i think pp has a maximum because even in world over the manufacturing sector is predominant though of course in india we are more do with the service sector right 